Making Monoclonal Antibodies by kscience.com This here is a mouse. You inject the mouse with the chosen antigen that you want to produce monoclonal antibodies for. So these antigens have now been injected into the mouse. So you inject the mouse with antigens you want to produce antibodies for. So now the antigens have been injected into the mouse. They're now present in the bloodstream. The mouse's B lymphocytes are now going to produce specific antibodies for that antigen. So the mouse produces B lymphocytes to produce antibodies specific for that antigen. You will then remove the B lymphocyte from the mouse. You will then remove the B lymphocyte from the mouse. So as you can see here, the B lymphocyte has been removed from the mouse. And this B lymphocyte produces the antibodies that you want to make the monoclonal antibodies from. So as you can see here, the B lymphocyte has been removed from the mouse. And this B lymphocyte produces the antibodies that you want to make the monoclonal antibodies from. So even though the lymphocyte can produce antibodies, it can't divide. This B lymphocyte cell cannot divide. Very important, it cannot divide. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So what the scientists will do is fuse the lymphocyte from the mouse that produces the antibodies that you want to produce monoclonal antibodies for with a cancer cell. So you fuse the lymphocyte with a cancer cell. So you fuse the lymphocyte with a cancer cell. So this is a tumor cell. It is a tumor cell. So the tumor cell can't produce antibodies, but it can divide incredibly rapidly. And it can divide by mitosis. So remember, cancer tumor cells do not produce antibodies, but they divide very quickly by mitosis. So as you can see here, the B lymphocyte has been fused with the tumor cell. The B lymphocyte has been fused with the tumor cell. You've now formed a hybridoma. The keyword here is hybridoma. So this hybridoma cell is going to be able to divide incredibly rapidly. So what I'm showing you here is the hybridoma dividing incredibly rapidly into identical cells. So the hybridoma divides and it produces many antibodies that are identical. So it forms monoclonal antibodies. Mono means one, clones means identical to something else, and antibodies means they're antibodies. So these are monoclonal antibodies. So all of these antibodies are identical. They are monoclonal antibodies, and they are all specific to the same antigen. So the hybridoma divides. So it forms monoclonal antibodies, monoclonal antibodies. So all of these antibodies are identical. They are monoclonal antibodies, and they are all specific to the same antigen. And they are all specific to the same antigen. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video.
Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.